Okay, MB Bush Lover here with another video. And uh, this is a little tiny bird nest that we discovered in a pine tree that's right along the edge of our driveway. And uh, it wasn't very high up, only about uh, 10 feet. And uh, it wasn't much of a nest, just a few little dried uh, sticks, grass or whatever. And uh, so uh, a few days later, uh, it was a little heavier that added some uh, more grass to it. Uh, still not a very sturdy nest and uh, pretty tiny. And uh, then we basically uh, discovered a bird in it. Uh, all we could see was its tail. It was like a little skinny forked tail sticking out. And we, uh, you know, weren't sure what kind of a bird it was. Hadn't seen it yet. And uh, so, uh, and this is the nest a few days later. Uh, it's a little bit... Uh, more rugged, uh, it's not much, just uh, not much to it. I guess that's kind of a trait for these birds. And uh, it uh, was about uh, 10 feet off the ground, which is uh, typical of uh, them as well. And, uh, and so uh, I'm going to zoom in on it here and you can see uh, the bird in it. And uh, there's a little forked tail. And uh, I tried to, uh, what, what I did here was we, I got my uh, tall stepladder and uh, basically got up on it and the uh, wife held it while I, the video camera, and I did get a video here of the head of the bird. And uh, it was a little difficult, the needles, I couldn't get any higher and uh, those needles on top of her anyway, so it's about the best I could do. But uh, just judging by the... Uh, the beak and the colors and uh, you know did a little research and uh, actually uh, uh, I guess we were thinking it was a vireo is what I thought and uh, actually it was wrong so uh, when I filmed it in the nest here this day uh, it was a couple of days later I actually saw a bird in the tree and uh, filmed it and uh, and then it went over to another tree and uh, was sitting there preening itself and uh, I thought, well, that can't be the bird because I was kind of going by what I thought it looked like in the nest. And, uh, and this was the video that day that I filmed. And I thought, well, that really can't be it. It looks like a little sparrow and, uh, and it's got a brown head. Well, in the nest, it didn't look like it had a brown head. So, so I'm kind of going on that theory. And uh, so uh, I filmed this little guy here. And it turns out it actually is the bird that's in the nest, which kind of makes sense because there it is. Um, uh, I thought it was just a coincidence, but, uh, anyway, and then, uh, I got it, uh, preening itself over here on this other little tree we've got, and, uh, and of course, since then, uh, when I went back and, uh, you know, researched the bird, uh, again, I found out it's a chipping sparrow, uh, not a vireo, uh, which we were thinking, and, uh, so, um, and of course, this is, I filmed this the other day, uh, before I actually knew that that this was actually the bird. So uh, uh, this morning, uh, we're coming up here this morning, uh, when I went out, I checked the uh, nest to see if the bird was in it. And uh, you'll see here uh, its tail sticking out. And uh, there it is. That was this morning. And uh, just making sure she's okay. And uh, and then uh, I uh, went for a little walk in the woods, came back, and... Uh, and uh, she wasn't in the nest, so I thought, well, I'm just going to sit down here for a few minutes and see if she showed up. And sure enough, this is when she showed up. And uh, I figured, uh, you know, um, I mean, I still wasn't 100% sure because, uh, like I said, uh, I didn't really see a brown head in the nest. But, uh, you know, of course, uh, she's going to drop down here on uh, limb, these lower limbs and then uh, eventually get down to where the nest is and then get in it so i knew it was her so it is a chipping sparrow and uh just a uh, uh, few facts on uh, on uh, this uh, little bird uh, she'll lay uh, anywhere from two to seven eggs and uh she'll uh, she could have three broods actually uh, and here she comes here she's going to drop down onto the limb that the nest is on and uh, the eggs uh, will be like 0.6 uh, long and 0.4 wide, which is about the size of my small fingernail. Um, pretty tiny eggs, uh, 10 to 15 days for it to incubate them, and 9 and 12 for the birds to basically grow. 
So, um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, we'll see. Hopefully maybe I can get some little baby birds filmed here. You never know. Um, she, uh, I, I couldn't really uh, see when she actually got in the nest because uh, it's, uh, the pine needles are so thick. But uh, she uh, got in there because here I'm going to go underneath the nest at the very end and uh, and uh, she's definitely in there, so that's what she is. She's a chipping sparrow. And apparently the males don't help build the nest. They're kind of lazy. Uh, I don't know if they actually help with anything else or not, sitting on the eggs or bringing her food. But but anyway, uh, it's uh, always interesting to have some little critters around to keep your attention and uh, give me something to film. So uh, i got to get up in the moose woods here and... And yeah, get back to my trail cameras and see if I got some videos here pretty soon. So uh, just trying to film anything I can find that moves. So later.